Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. A couple of you requested uh, a video where I'm talking about how I process my uh, Leica Q black and white images. I'm regularly posting on uh, on Instagram. So I thought about, hey, okay, why not doing a video and uh, address this? So here I'm in Lightroom and I already picked three images. Uh, I wanna just show you how I convert them to black and white. Uh, it's fairly easy and straightforward. Um, if you want to know which settings I'm using and why uh, I'm using that kind of settings, check out the video I will link in the card on top. M make sure to watch this first, so that's easier to understand why I'm uh, picking my settings. Uh, for instance, in this image you can see it's, uh, it's underexposed on purpose and in the video I'm explaining why I'm doing this. So let's jump right into the develop module and um, let's get started. So on this image, I'm going for a very dramatic look. Uh, as you can see, the sunlight on her face is uh, very dramatic and everything else is almost like uh, two or three stops underexposed. So first, let's convert this to black and white. And it looks fairly decent, but there's more you can do. Okay, let's go down here and get the orange channel a little brighter, maybe the red channel a little brighter. And let's get the blues a little darker to make the sky look a little bit darker. Then you can just maybe, yeah, maybe let's here, let's, let's stay here like one stop underexposed, bump up the contrast, maybe get the shadows a little up. And one thing I would I would like to do here is uh, to get the the framing a little better. So let's crop in just slightly. Okay, and honestly, that's about it. So uh, done. First image. Let's jump over to the second one. This gentleman here, <laughs> funny enough, uh, he didn't recognize me taking, uh, I think I took like five or six shots of him and um, this one is the closest I I could get to him. I was very, like literally like, I don't know, 50 centimeters away from him. It was very, very close and he didn't, he was so focused on reading the newspaper. Anyway, so uh, let's do the same again. Switch to black and white. I mean, the, the look is a little bit different because here the um, sun was uh, almost setting and so it's not as dramatic looking. But you can also like pull up like the orange channel, the red channel, and you can already see that his face stands out even more. Maybe uh, do the same again with the blue channel. Make the sky a little darker and make his face pop out even more. So maybe get the exposure a little down, raise up the whites a little, bump the contrast, raise up the shadows slightly. Yeah, and that's basically it, done. Next one, last image. So on this image, uh, the sunlight, as you can see, um, is very like, it's not direct, it's indirect but it gives the image like a very nice look look to it. Like it almost looks like it's lit by a strobe or something. So in this case, um, do the same again. Turn it to black and white. Not that spectacular, but wait. Now bump up the orange channel and the red channel. Yeah, make the sky a little darker, not too much. Then, yeah, I think half a stop, it's fine. Bump the whites. And as you can see, it gets a little more dramatic and spectacular. It's very easy. Contrast, shadows, maybe raise the shadows a little bit. And maybe to get her stand out even a little, maybe a little more, maybe let's Get this to maybe 0.2. Then what I want to do is here 
Ähm so. Like this and make everything around her a little darker. Maybe extend this a little to get her hand in as well. And as you can see, she now really stands out and um, has a really dramatic look. Maybe crop in a little to get the composition a little better, like maybe like this. And that's about it. So it's fairly easy, as you can see. And um, you can apply those settings to almost every camera. It's uh, And you, you should get like almost the same look as long as the camera is able to shoot raw. Um, yeah, if you have any further questions, leave them in the comment box below and we see each other in the next How I Shoot episode next week. Okay, auf Wiedersehen.